Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome to Silicon City, which is a good old classic city builder that keeps things relatively straightforward. So we zone out land for homes and commerce and industry, we provide power, we make things look nice with parks and trees, we place roads, we build services like police stations and schools, all that sort of stuff. Everything you would expect from a classic city builder. I mean if you played city builders, you know, around the turn of the century maybe, if you were one of those people like myself that played SimCity 2000 for example, it's like that. It's like that. It doesn't quite look the same, but it's got that sort of feel. And sometimes I think it's nice to just go back to something relatively simple. I mean, yes, okay, there are many other modern city builder games out there with all sorts of complex game mechanics going on and clever bits all over the place. And they are good games. Absolutely. I'm not denying that. They're super detailed. They're very intricate and everything is perfectly simulated. But I think on occasion, it's good to go back to the basics for something a little less, a little less intense, shall we say. And Silicon City does just that. So yes, I'm looking forward to a lovely relaxing city building experience. Now this is the demo of the game, so of course it is not the finished version, and also it's not quite available on Steam just yet. It's going into early access on the 14th of October, but of course if you are interested there's a link to the Steam store page in the video description below so you can check out the game and wishlist it if you'd like to, and we were given a key so we could play this a little bit early thanks to the publishers. So thanks publishers, that's very kind of you indeed. Anyhow, let's dive in shall we, let's get on with it and build a new city. So as you might imagine, the first thing we have to do is set up our map, and I've gone for an island map. I just like the idea of building a nice city on a little island somewhere far, far away from everywhere else. It's a small map because that's what the game recommends. I've called it the Isle of Tea for two reasons, really. Number one, because of course it's going to be an island of tea drinkers, obviously. And number two, if you say Isle of Tea quick enough, it sounds like you're saying I love tea, which is wonderful. And I now wonder how many of you just said or muttered Isle of Tea to yourselves there. I like that. That's very silly indeed. Anyway, all these sliders over here, they look good and sort of slidery, they look fine to me. We're on classic mode, which means we do have to meet certain goals to unlock new things, and we're on normal difficulty, which means we start with 20,000 lovely dollars. So I think with that done, everything is sorted, which means we're ready to go. And here we go, so welcome everybody to the Isle of Tea, and doesn't it look very nice indeed? It looks lovely and lush and green. It is essentially an untouched island paradise, but of course all that is about to change because we're now here and we're going to build a great big city on top of the Untouched Island Paradise. So apologies Untouched Island Paradise in advance, we're going to have to kind of squish a lot of you. Sorry nature, sorry trees, but progress is coming. We must have places for people to go and drink a lovely cup of tea. So let's pause the game and I can very happily confirm that Spacebar is pause, well done game. Let's take a look at what we've got going on here. So if you've ever played a city builder from long long ago, like I have, you know sort of around the SimCity 2000 era, yes I'm that old, then this might all seem quite familiar. So over here we have the number of people that live in the city, that's currently zero of course unless we've got people hiding in the trees or whatever. We've got $20,000, over here we've got the speed controls and the time of the date, and then over here we have the lovely big very simple very clear to understand building buttons. We can build things to do with power, we can build things to do with road, we can zone out some areas, or we can build parks, and yeah, they're the four things that we can do right now. However, locked away from us are public services, education, and the very tantalizing gifts, which we can't get to right now, which is a bit of a shame. That sounds quite exciting. And of course, we have the kind of bulldoze demolish thing. And that's kind of it. That is it. I like that. Nice and simple, stripped right back down to basics. And of course, if you click on one of these, there are different options. So, you know, there's different types of road and what have you, but it's just nice and straightforward. So what we have to do is we can just get on with building, but we do have goals. We have a certain amount of goals over here. And when we complete them, we get rewards and then more goals appear and we complete more goals, get more buildings, get more money, get more stuff. So the first goal is to build a four by four residential area. Okay, we can absolutely do that. So what I think we should do is, I think we should start right in the middle of the island. Let's start right in the centre of the island and then we can build from there. We can have a nice sort of nucleus in the centre and then everything else can sort of branch out from there. So let's get in some lovely, lovely residential area. So as you can see at the moment, we can only build three types of zone. We can have houses where people obviously live. We can have farms where people can go and work and we grow food. And then we can have catering where people can obviously go and have a lovely meal out, but also they provide jobs, which is all very good. However, job number one, build a four by four residential area. So this is sort of the middle, isn't it? This will do, that can be the middle. So yeah, nice and simple. You sort of click and drag and there we go. It's gonna cost us $3,200 to get that done and boom, 
There it is. Nice yellow kind of housing area. And yes, we can complete that. So what do we get? 1600 money. Oh, okay, that's not bad. So that's kind of just, you know, paid for some of the some of that zoning we just did. Okay, thank you very much. And now we have two more missions. We've got to uh, put some roads near to the houses and we've got to connect power as well. Okay, that seems fairly straightforward. So uh, yes, now what does it say exactly? Connect four houses and then just, yeah, give them some power so they can switch the lights on. Okay, right, so roads first. So we've got pedestrian alleys, regular streets, and streets with pedestrian crosswalks. That's very exciting. And the streets connect power. So the power can skip across streets, I believe. Um, okay, so how about we just have a bit of a street going down there like that. So that's connected them up. So what do we get for that? We get a large farmhouse. Okay, that sounds nice. It's got 15 rooms in it. That's huge. Can I go and live there? That sounds massive. Um, okay, so we'll complete that. However, however, what I think we will do, let's get some more houses put in let's get another four sort of another four by four bit of housing in and then yeah we'll get some more roads in so a regular street like that and then what i think we'll do is we just sort of bring that down like that and that can be a little sort of can that be a block that's how cities work isn't it they have kind of blocks and things let's bring that down like that actually just in case we want to put something down here in the middle okay that's good um, and then what we could do as well let's put some uh Let's put some kind of, you know, crossings in. I mean, the moment the people are going to cross and go and look at a tree. But that's fine. Maybe it's an interesting tree. I do not know. Okay, so that's that done. And then connect power. Okay, what power options do we have? Power lines and wind turbines. Okay, they power approximately 240 residents. Okay, I imagine we want to put those relatively far away. Let's put them over here. Let's put them in the kind of the open. And I don't know if the game is sort of sufficiently advanced to sort of work out that if we put a wind turbine in some trees, it's going to catch the wind less than if we put it out in the open. I don't know. But over here can be sort of energy town. So let's put that there. That's $4,000. We don't have much money left right now. My goodness. Okay, that's fine. And then we need some power lines. Um, does that need to be connected to a road? That might also need to be connected to a road. Hang on a second. Hang on. We can run the power line next to the road. We could do that. That would make sense. Right, so bring that in like that. Okay. So is that now power to move time on? Because if the power goes along road... No, they've not got power. We need power lines. It doesn't kind of go under the road or whatever. Okay, that's fine. So a power line can go all the way along there like that. So we chop down some trees. We put in a power line. And that's all lovely. Connect power to our houses. I thought we'd kind of done that by plugging it in. Build a wind turbine and a road to let the electricity go to the houses through the road. Oh, well, I've kind of done that, unless it doesn't reach. Maybe it doesn't reach. Maybe it's not enough. Well, it seems to be, it seems to be. Oh no, there you go, we've done it. We've connected power. Do you know what, we might not need the, um, get off the energy thing, hang on, city, there we go. And um, complete that mission, what do we get? Um, 10, 10 wild trees. Okay, I mean, I think we're good for trees right now. <laughs> Thanks, game, for encouraging nature. But, yeah, we're okay for trees. That's all good. Yeah, I don't think we need those. I don't think we need those. We'll keep the power lines in for now, but I don't really think we need them as it stands. Okay, right, so move time on nice and quick. So, uh, yeah, we've got no new goal. Kind of expecting a goal to appear. Ah, here we go. There's a house. Okay, so this is Lambda House. A good house for eight citizens. Yes, the people are called citizens. They're not called citizens because, of course, you know, it's a game called Silicon City. So the people are called citizens. The land value is normal. There's a rental price. And there's one person living here. Oh, hang on. Somebody's moved in down the road. That's, hang on, that's Lambda House. That's Lambda House. And that's a farmhouse. Okay, right. So people are slowly moving in. Now, they might want somewhere to work, in which case I'm thinking farms. So we might have farm town over here. And then over here, we could have a little bit of, a little bit of sort of, um, whatever it was. What was the other zone? Catering, yeah. Let's get some catering in, because that sounds nice. There we go, $800 for catering. And then, I think farms. I think farms up here. Um, we're struggling for power. Why are we struggling for power? I thought that was all connected and it was all fine. I'm a bit befuddled by this. Oh, okay, right. Hang on a second. There is... <laughs> There is something weird afoot over there. Right, hang on. We've got some power issues. Um, let's, do you know what? Let's, let's bulldoze. 
all of those because I think they were a terrible idea. Now, is the energy working? But whoa, <laughs> yes, the energy does go through the road and that's all fine. Okay, right. Yes, they lay the lines under the road, which does make sense. You know, that's kind of what they would do in real life. So there you go. That's quite sensible. And we have our first kind of our first catering place. Okay, hang on. That was the first one. So that is 24 seven fruits, veggies and booze. Some say there's behind the counter peanut butter. Oh, how very intriguing. Where's the tea? Okay, and there's another kind of 24-7 shop as well. Okay, so this is good. So, you know, that's providing some uh, providing some employment. But yeah, I think we need a farm. I think we should go and get some farms in. So yeah, let's go to... Uh, let's pause time for a second. Get some farms in. An area ready for agriculture. So let's build the farms a little bit away from away from the houses possibly let's build the farms over here so let's just have um i mean i don't know can we have it like that four so four like that oh hang on hang on that's gone that's gone all sorts of wonkaloids yeah i can't have that hang on how far is that sticking out so one two three four hang on it's got to look vaguely sort of symmetrical or else i won't like it there we go right and then connect that up with some lovely roads for regular street going up like that that can go up like that and then we'll run a road across like that okay i like that and then we'll keep that free for you know some services maybe a police station or what have you now how does this work that's just ready for agriculture there are a few people hang on hang on i think the people look sort of uh they look very unusual as well the people wandering about the place they're just kind of yeah look they're little sort of hang on hang on pause time for a second there you go that's a person in this game. That, hang on, that, if you're interested, is Christina Decker. She's a production worker at the wind turbine. Oh, she works at the wind turbine. Oh, that's exciting. And she's heading out to do some exercise. Okay, and having a nice run around the farms and such, which seems very sensible. Okay, so that's good. And you can if you want to. I think you can follow them. I think, hang on, if we click on her. Oh, there you go. You get loads of information about them. My goodness I me, mean, look at that. You can see where they've been. They've been wandering about the shops, visiting other people's houses. They live over there, but they've been, you know, traipsing around on the farm fields. And of course, they've gone over here to work. And I think you can follow them. You can follow them if you want to. So if we follow Christina, there is a kind of, where is it? I don't kind of where it is. Sometimes up here, a little thing pops up. A little thing pops up. It's a bit like Twitter, I think. There it is. There it is. It's that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so then, you know, with, people can follow us. I don't know if anybody does, but we're following Christina there. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. So yeah, those little notifications will pop up and Christina might give her sort of thoughts and opinions on things. Okie doke. Right, now how do we get people to move into the uh, to move into the farmland? How do we encourage farming over here? Oh, hang on. Gifts. Gifts has appeared. Oh, we can build a large farmhouse. We can build the gigantic farmhouse. Okay, right. Let's build it. Hang on. Let's pop the large farmhouse just there. And maybe that will encourage people to go and do some farming because, you know, it's a farmhouse. And yes, look at that. We put a farmhouse down and farming is happening. We've got ourselves um, a little grain silo. We've got some wheat and we have another grain silo. OK, this is good. This is good. So progress is happening. We're making a bit of money and 50 people live here now. And a new goal has appeared get 200 citizens okay so that's slowly ticking up because you know there's places for them to work and visit oh my goodness me right okay our little sort of food area is very popular there's a bar there's a bar there's a restaurant there's a bar there's a restaurant and a bar and a restaurant and a restaurant um okay is this a restaurant or a bar it's a restaurant that's a bar uh, and that's a fried chicken place okay that's huge that's a massive fried chicken place <laughs> How big are the chickens? Um, and then you've got 24-7, 24-7, and 24-7. Okay, right. So that's looking very busy. Do we need to put a little bit of that over here, possibly? Do we have ourselves? Yeah, I think we do. Let's get a little sort of catering place. Just set up like that. And then what we could do is, hang on. Let's get ourselves. No, not that. Let's get a road. Bring that down here. Bring that down the side of the farms. There we go. And then over here, let's get ourselves... Hang on, where are we? I've zoned that a little bit wrong. Um, so yeah, another bit of catering there. And then more houses over here, please. Uh, oh, they not got power? Oh, no, they have got power. The power is just sort of pinged into life. Okay, that's good. 
Um, and then, yes, there's a little gap there. We could, when we actually unlock it, we could... Oh, no, we've got parks now. Hang on. Let's put a park in. So, green space. Okay, what can we do with that? Can we just pop a bit of green space just there? It, it's literally just a green tile. Okay. <laughs> How big is a playground? Oh, they're quite big. Okay, do you know what? Let's put a playground... <gasps> Let's put a playground just there. It's quite expensive. It's quite expensive. We don't have loads of money, but that might encourage people to move in. Surely if we put a playground in, that's going to that's going to increase their land value because, you know, there's entertainment and a place for children to go and such like. Let's put that in. It's a bit costly, but let's drop that in. And there's a little sort of pedestrian sort of walkway thing. There we go. Right. So what's that done to the land value? That crept up a bit. I think that was just below normal, was it? Now it's gone up ever so slightly. So there we go. And I think what we should do, uh, street with pedestrian crosswalk, pop one of those just there, please. Just to make sure that wherever you're coming from, you can get to the park nice and safely and the cars have to stop. There we go. Right, so what have we got? 102 people moving in. Um, oh, the farms are looking wonderfully busy. There's a barn. We've got a barn. We've got two barns. We've got wheat. We've got wheat. Over there, that looks like fruit. Uh, that's sunflowers. <laughs> Are you sure they're sunflowers? Okay, right, they're apparently sunflowers. I'll, I'll go with it, game, but they don't look very sunflowery, and they don't look like, you know, the sun or a flower. But okay, fine, do you, game. Okay, so, creeping up, 109 out of 200, though. We just need to expand significantly more, don't we? We just need a lot more expansion. So how about we bring that down there? So let's get ourselves another road. We're okay for money. Money is actually not too bad. So bring that down, bring that across, and then let's get us, let's get some more housing going on. That can, that can be housing down to, oh, hang on. I don't think we can afford that. Yeah, that's 800 money to get that housing there. Ah, okay, right. We can't afford too much in the way of housing. It's fine. We'll get there. We'll have to do this, you know, the slow, the slow and steady way. Get a bit of money, zone a thing out, and hope people move in. There we go. So yeah, they're slowly moving in. 121 now. Can we build across there? $800. Yes, we can. But that's very costly. Okay, do you know what? Let's put that in. Um, oh, a little person has appeared. You just unlocked this bonus. That doesn't look like a bonus. That looks like a person who works at the bank telling us that we're rubbish at dealing with money. Um, and yes, it's a person who works at the bank that tell that's telling us that we're rubbish with money. Okay, so um, we can... Uh, we can build a bank. Oh, okay. That sounds like an exciting thing to have. I don't want to go to the bank. There we go. We got paid, and now we've got loads of money. Um, is that a gift? Yes, it is. Okay. So we have a bank. How about we make a kind of a financial heart of the city? Um, here. That'll do. That can be the sort of the finance bit of the city. So if we... Uh, hang on. Hang on. If we... Uh, oh, no, that's not rotate. I was going to try and rotate it round, and I pressed the wrong button. It's Q and E to rotate. So if we put that there, that's not connected to a road on this side. But I think, pop back to here, get us a regular street. And then, yes, let's just build some roads down there like that for now. And then we can build other things over here. This can be a sort of, you know, a centre of the a centre of the town, if you like. How are we doing? Still some still some spots to, to fill up in terms of housing. Um, okay. Do we need to zone another great big housing area? I think we might. The only thing is, I don't think we can afford to do that anytime soon. Hang on a second. What if we put... Hang on, hang on. Houses. The housing zoning is very costly. Um, let's just get housing and just zone it out as much as we... Oh, yeah, we need... We need a lot of money. We need a lot of money to do that. We can do an $800 block just there. Okay, do that. Hopefully people will move in. And what we might need to do is just keep saving our money. Oh, hang on. Hang on. We can do another $800 block. Then we can do $800. Ah, then we can do $800. Okay, right. So all that big space means that we might get bigger houses moving in. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So hopefully as time passes, there we go. More people moving in. Hello, what do we get if we um complete this? Uh, ah, we get our house. Oh, and we get we get 5,000 of the public funds monies. Okay, that's quite nice. That is very nice indeed. 
Okay, and that's slowly ticking up. Okay, it looks like we might just have to sort of wait. We might have to wait and be a little bit patient for people to move in over here. Is it worth putting in another little sort of... We've got some money. We might need to get paid. Another little sort of eatery type area over here. That might look quite nice. Oh, look. The fried chicken place is gone. It's been replaced by a massive pizza place. Um, oh, hang on. No, that's Archie. Hello, Archie. Um, yes, a pizzeria right there. And I know how to say that word now, thanks to uh, whatever it was, food simulator pizza. Um, okay. So, yeah, the um, chicken place is gone. And there's a bakery on the corner as well. How very nice. Okay, it's not too bad a place to live. It looks like nobody's moving to your city. Maybe you should build more housings, uh, houses, sorry, blocks, or give jobs to your citizens. Okay, yeah, maybe it's jobs. Maybe it's jobs. The farm is looking pretty busy. The farm is looking very busy. Okay, how about we build houses all the way up to there when we can afford that? I don't think we can afford it right now. Hang on, can we do that? We can do that. That's 2,400 of our money gone like that in a flash. Okay, fine. Do you know what? It's okay. It's okay. We'll get to 200 people quite soon, actually. That's ticking up quicker than I was expecting. So yeah, if we just get a few more people moving in, some people over here, some people over here to go and help out on the farm, that'd be quite nice. Maybe somebody moving into that space over there, that would be good. But yeah, that's ticking up. Come on. Come on, we can do this. We can get to 200. Yay, there we go. Um, village. Population reached 200. We're a village. Okay, this is exciting. You gathered enough residents in your hamlet to be added on the GPS services. Okay, people can find us on GPS now. So five grand, shops, okay, and a soccer field. That will bring happiness to young citizens and will raise a bit the land value in the whole neighbourhood. Okay, Right, so we now have shops, which is exciting, and then a football kind of pitch, whatever it was, a soccer field, as they called it. Um, is that a public service? Um, no, but we do have public services available now. We've got clinics, we've got uh, we've got sort of uh, police stations. Okay, hang on a minute. Did we claim the thing? Yeah, complete that mission. Okay, so the next job, reach 500 people and help the farmers. Okay, what's that about? Here is a challenge for you. The industrial representatives are asking you to help them with their businesses. Lower the industrial taxes to 0% for six months and you will receive a special industrial building. So we get 15 kind of whatever these are, Twitter followers or whatever, um, and a farm turbine. This unique agricultural building gives farming jobs to your citizens and generates a small amount of energy to share with the neighbours. Okay. I think we can do that. We can do that. What do they want? Industrial taxes down to nothing. I imagine that's the budget. Okay, right. Here we go. So, scary numbers. This is where things begin to fall apart a tiny bit here in the Geek Cover, but we'll be fine. So, what are we doing? This is, yeah, industrial taxes. We're not actually getting that much from them anyway. So, bring them down to nothing for now. So, that'll hit us in the pocket for a little while. But then, that might complete that goal. Okay. Okay, right, so we wanted a kind of a shopping area, didn't we? We said this was going to be kind of, you know, a sort of the heart of the city. So, shops and stores, yes, please. 1,680 money. There we go. Lots of lovely shops are going to appear. This is all very good. Um, and then, how about fill that gap in with houses? Because that makes perfect sense. We are struggling for power by the look of it. Hang on a second. Energy. Yeah, that's the one wind turbine is struggling. We have to hope that it's really windy all of the time. Um, we might have to invest in another wind turbine. Um, oh, we could if we wait. Hang on a minute. Hang on. What does that do? So the wind turbine produces 36 mwa of energy. And of course, I know what that stands for. I like saying mwa. Um, yes, yeah, so that produces 36 at a cost of 100 a month. That produces 30, but it only works during the daytime uh, and powers 200 residents. And that costs 100 a month. Why would you... Hang on, what's the advantage of solar panels? That provides power for 200 people. It's twice the cost of a wind turbine. The wind turbine powers 240 people. And that doesn't have any conditions on it because it's always windy, it seems. Um... Okay, I'll just have another wind turbine, please, because that seems a bit strange. Um, yes, hang on. Which way round is the which way round is the wind turbine? 
You want it to face the same way as this one. Um, are the trees in the same way? I think that's the same way, isn't it? Yeah. So pop that. That's not the same way. That's not... Yeah, that wind turbine's facing toward us and that one's facing away. But the trees are in the same pattern. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Right, so two wind turbines that you know, don't like each other. They're not talking. Okay, right. So now we should have the power sorted. Uh, that's ticking over quite nice. The Silizens want a stadium. Okay, where is that then? Uh, is it under parks? Um, yes. Soccer field, 1,000. Is that all? Just 1,000. Um... Yeah, do you know what? We can afford that. We can afford that. Oh my word, it's massive. Um, okay, we're only on a small island. <laughs> this thing, this thing takes up most of the island. Uh, let's put it. I don't know where do you want to put this. That's going to be sort of farmland over there. Don't want to put it over there. That's going to be where all the electric comes from. Let's put it. I don't know. I mean, you know, a football. I'm going to call it football. Sorry, everybody. A football stadium is often the heart of a community in many places. You know, it's kind of, you know, stuff is built around it. It's important. So I think what we will do is we are going to put that there. We're going to put it... Um, oh, hang on. No, we're not because I've let go of it. We're going to put it there. I'm going to pause time for a second. And then we're going to go back to here. And we are going to get some roads. And we're going to build a regular street around that side of it. And a regular street down here like that. And we're going to have a crossing going from there and from there and from there. So you can, if you're over here, safely walk into the uh, walk into the stadium. And then over here, we're going to have pedestrian bits. So that side of the football stadium is just for people to walk around. So that's where you can have all the exciting stuff outside of the stadium. You can have all the little food stands and all the fun stuff. Okay, there we go. Right, so they've got a stadium that gives us 10 extra kind of whatever it is, pretend Twitter followers or whatever. And the Isle of T needs doctors. Okay, so if we get a hospital or a clinic or whatever, we get followers and we get money. Okay, right, we're on it, game. We're on it. You keep telling us to build all the things all at once. And normally I'm all for that. I like building all the things all at once. But uh, but yeah, just, just let us have a bit of a breather. Hang on a second. That's a bit of a shame. Nobody is going for the shops and stores area just here. Look, they're just sort of leaving it entirely empty. I thought maybe one shop might want to open up over there. I mean, you know, they'd have quite the monopoly, really, because there are no other shops. So they would do quite well. But no, it doesn't seem that place is ready for... Uh, it's not ready for shops quite yet. Um, okay, how about... How about... Let's get... I mean, hang on, hang on. Can we see? Where's work? So what have we got? How many unemployed people do we have? We have 11 unemployed people. Okay, but does that mean that we don't have enough places for them to work? Or does that just mean they're out of jobs right now, but they're, you know, they're looking or they're between jobs or whatever? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, what we could do is we've got, oh my goodness me, we've got quite a lot of money. I think what we do is let's zone out a massive, great big, block of okay right we can't afford to do it quite that much a huge big block of housing down to there nine thousand six hundred money going into a huge housing block just there right okay so that should encourage lots of people to move in if lots of people move in there's going to be a lot of available workforce and maybe people will start setting up over here that would be very good and um, we've nearly completed the mission to help out the farmers a couple of months and we'll get that done then we can put that back up again just to, you know, bring in a little bit of extra money. Right, what else could we build? What else could we have? So power with solar panels. Roads, all the same kind of thing. Um, urban zoning, yeah, that's all the same right now. Parks, yeah, I noticed this. There's a tennis court and stuff. Um, Christina, Christina has messaged, finding a new place to live in the Isle of T was easy. I'm now at Simple House. Okay, that's nice. Yes, we can find, can we find where you are? Yeah, you're at Simple House. Um, yeah, go to home. Uh, whereabouts is your whereabouts is your home then? So if we zoom in and go to home, do you live there? Yeah, she lives over there. That's quite nice. Oh, well done. Well done, Christina. It's good that you're doing very well for yourself. Marvellous. Right, okay, so cheerio for now. Right, so how near are we to doing that? One more month. Number of people is, is creeping up. It's creeping up. So I think what we do is let's save our money and get ourselves maybe a clinic. We might need to save the money. And then we'll put the clinic over here somewhere. What's that icon saying? What, is, what does that mean? 
What's why is it going to spit? What's this? <laughs> I don't know what that means. It's saying, "Hey, here's the thing." Ah, is that where we might be following Christina still? Yes. Look, that's where she. That's where she lives. That's where she works. Um. Okay, that's lovely. Can I not follow her anymore? <laughs> I mean, it's nice to be, you know, nice to be aware of our citizens and they're wonderful people. I hope they're drinking lots of tea, but yeah, I don't need to follow them all the time. I don't, I, I'm okay with that. Oh no, now she's being booted out, is she? Celebrate St. Patrick's Day. What? Place catering zones close enough from both your residential zones and some parks to see growing bars. Okay. Hang on, what? That, that seems a bit strange, but hang on. Can we put this in first? Let's get ourselves a clinic. We've got the money. We get some money back for building a clinic in the first place. But hang on. <laughs> Can we... Hang on. List citizens. Christina. Uh, click to unfollow. There we go. It's been lovely following you, Christina. But, uh, but yes, I'm very happy with your, how you're doing in life and such. Right, thank you. Right, help the farmers. So 15 followers. Ah, we get the farm turbine. Okay. So we get the farm turbine. Oh, we've got our house. Hang on, we need to put our house in. Right, let's put the farm turbine in first. Okay, so, I mean, where is the best place for that to go? I would say, is there a way in? I don't know, is there a front or a back? I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to put it there, because it looks like a farmy sort of place. And then, we'll get ourselves a road, and we'll just run the road up like that. Splendid. So it does have connection to power. And then, of course, that's generating a little bit of power as well, which is wonderful. Okay, right. This is good. Why are we still following Christina? <laughs> Christina. Christina, I don't I don't want to follow you anymore. It, it's fine. I like that you're doing well. But uh, there we go. Right, we're not following her anymore. Yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> Bye-bye, Christina. Bye-bye. Cheerio for now. Right, what were we up to? I think we were building a clinic, weren't we? Yeah, there we go. Right, so here we go. Cure sick citizens. Sorry, citizens. Babies are born here when citizens are expecting. And it costs up to 1500 a month to have one of those in. Goodness me. Okay, now is Okay. Just about to build a kind of hospital. But okay, there's a new team in town. Hey, Penge, we've gathered a new soccer football football team. Can we make a, can we make a rule, please? Is the mayor we call it a football team? Could you help us by picking a colour and a name for our team? We will wear the colours of the city when we play against rival teams. Uh, don't forget to follow our results on the network. It's an honour to have you as a supporter. OK, choose the new soccer team. So they can either be called the Fantastic Velociraptors. And they can be in blue with kind of red shoulders. Or they could... <laughs> Or they could be called the Neat Beavers uh, with with red and grey. I mean, I mean, oh, it's it's a tough choice. We might go for the Fantastic Velociraptors uh, because they've got Geek Cupboard Blue. They've got a lovely Geek Cupboard Blue there, um, which I do quite like. I mean, they've not got the yellow, so it's not entirely Geek Cupboard corporate colours, but it will do the job. Um, yeah, OK, do you know what? Let's go. Go, go football team. Right, can we build this clinic here? Let's build it there. We have a clinic and there it is. It's up and running. It's looking very good. Lots of people are working here. Oh my goodness me. It can accommodate 33 jobs. Okay, that's very good. Um, there we go. We get two and a half grand back for completing that mission. That's going to just creep up. Right, how much was the... Um... Oh, what was that noise? I just heard a noise that sounded bad. It sounded... Uh... Oh, hang on, it's fireworks. It's fireworks. <laughs> the football team are doing a thing. Did you win? Latest scores, nil-nil. A draw against the Combative Deers. Okay. Oh, good job. Good job, football team. I'm very impressed. Very nice. Ah, and we have a few shops. What have we got? A stationery store. Okay, let's hope they don't move. And a barber shop. Okay, and again, providing jobs. Lots of lovely, lovely jobs. Right. Okay, so that's good to see that people are at least moving in a little bit over here. Okay, right. Pause time for a second. What's this all about then? So place catering zones close enough from both your residential zones and some parks to see growing bars. Okay, so catering zones next to residence uh, zones and parks. Okay, so catering zones are there. Okay, maybe, maybe we put, what have we got? 3,300. Have we got enough money to put a nice park down in here? Medium city park. Hang on. So if we put a medium city park in just here for three... Oh, it's three grand. That's quite expensive. But if we pop that in there 
and then we put catering zones over there. Maybe they will turn into bars. That's what I'm hoping. Okay, put a park in. That's nice. A park is always a nice thing to have. And then we want to, if we can... Um, oh, we've reached 500 people. We're now... Um, the small village is now a neighbourhood of the next city. Continue placing more residential and commercial zones in balanced numbers to grow and become independent. Here's a check for 10... <gasps> 10,000 apartments, factories, police station. I thought we had the police station already, but okay, that's fine. Right, so we've got a load of money now. Um, hang on, we haven't yet. Now we have. Hooray for the huge chunk of cash. Thank you. Um, right, so catering. Put that there and that into there. Okay, so now that's a residential bit and that's a catering bit and that's a park. So that should generate more bars according to this particular thing here. I don't know if that's going to work. I don't know if that's going to pay off or not. Never mind. Right, protect the city from crimes. We need to get ourselves a police station. They were very expensive, weren't they? They were 16 grand. And a fire station is 12 grand. And there you go. Protect the citizens from fire. Um, Okay. I mean, what do we get for that? Just 40 followers. Whereas that, we get some money back. Okay, we might have to wait and invest in a police station. We might just have to sit and wait. Um, hacker house is on fire. Okay, do you know what? Let's put in a fire station, everybody. <laughs> because it seems like we might have to. Um, okay, I'll put a fire station in. Yeah, protect the citizens from fire. Ah, oh, do me. Okay, I like this. This is exciting, although sad because, of course, somebody's house is on fire. Okay, I don't want to see that anymore. Uh, right, we'll complete that mission. Um, hopefully, our uh, our brave firefighters will get out here and put the fire out. Although, of course, they need to be trained up first. I imagine nobody works it. Nope, nobody works there. One person works there. Okay, we have a number of people. Are they able to go and help with the, uh, with the fire? Um, maybe. Hang on, there's somebody standing there. They're a firefighter. Right, okay, the <laughs> Isle of Tea, the fire has been extinguished. I mean, technically, yes, the fire has been extinguished on account of the building has, you know, been so utterly burnt into oblivion that it's not there anymore. Okay, <laughs> fine. Right, uh, that didn't go entirely according to plan. Uh, let's just zone that back as... That was houses, was it? I think it was houses, yeah. Zone that back as houses and we'll just pretend that never happened. Look at that. Look at that. That's popped up immediately. Oh my goodness me. It's hacker house. Is <laughs> now the simple house is on fire. Stop setting your houses on fire, people. Just stop this silliness. Okay, they've put it out. Okay, don't show me the news because that's going to get really annoying if that keeps happening. If that keeps happening every time there's a fire, it keeps popping up. That's just going to get in the way quite a bit, isn't it? Um. Okay, now we're going to have to wait a little while to get enough money to build a police station. So, okay, fine. We'll just sort of, we'll sit and patiently wait to get money in so then we can, you know, get police and go and arrest people. I completely forgot. We can build our own house, can't we? It's where we live. It's so beautiful. It raises the nearby land value. Okay. How is the land value down here? How is it looking? Um, can we see how the land value is? I thought it told us how the land value was with some houses. Um... No, it's not. Hang on. Can we see that? Oh, land value. Right. Okay. So that's looking okay. It's a little bit kind of rubbish down here and it's not brilliant over here. Do you know what? Let's put our house over here in the middle. Let's put it in the middle. That'll look very impressive, won't it? Okay. So gifts, our house. It's a little bit big, really. I kind of feel like we could possibly have a slightly smaller house, but okay. That's fine. We're allowed a gigantic house. Hooray. We've built a huge house. Goers. Um, is there anything else? A news agency where independent journalists write about the city and gather data. So it does cost a little bit per month, but it's free to actually build. However, power shortages, I'm noticing. Hang on a second. More turbines. Who knows which way round that one's going to go. Um, that's facing that way as well. Okay, never mind. Do you know what? It's fine. As long as it generates power, that's all good. Right, and then let's get in the... Oh, hang on. Uh, oh, no, we just spent a load of money, didn't we? Bother rations. Hang on a second. Um, where was that? Where was that thing? Was it into gifts? Yeah, news agency. I kind of feel the news agency should go down here. They can go down there. I don't quite know where the 
Where's the way in? Do you know what? That'll do the job. Right, so now we have some news people in. Okay, that's good. So most of our gifts are done, except for trees. But, you know, we're, we're good for trees. We've got plenty of trees going on. Um, do you know what? The farm's looking very busy. The whole farm bit is looking pretty busy. How about we get ourselves a little bit of a street going on there and connect that up and fill that bit in with farms. Lovely farms. There we go. Growing your food. Growing tea, of course. And more fireworks. The football team are doing a thing. 5-2, um, victory, defeat, victory, and a draw. Okay, it, it's going it's going all right. It's going all right for our wonderful football team. Okay, happy with that. Well done. And we've got enough money to build a police station. So let's get one of those in. Public services, police station. Um, well, they're quite big. They're quite big, but they perfectly fit into that space there. Okay, do you know what? That's fine. Let's do it so they're actually pointing the right way. So uh, yeah, there you go. Police station goes in. Lots of people working there. This is all very good. Things are coming together nicely. There's a nice little sort of uh, services sector just there. Right, we do have a little gap down here. What can we put here? Um, okay, have a police officer catching a criminal red-handed in your city. Okay, hang on a second. We get some money back for that, don't we? So, ta-da! Okay, so we're not quite as poor as we once were. Can we put in some little things down here? How big is a small playground? No, we can't do that. Um, okay, we've already got palm trees. We don't need more palm trees. They're already there. They are palm trees. Um, a memorial park? City park? There's a pool. A skate park? A skate park would go down well, wouldn't it? Maybe over here. Maybe if we put ourselves a little bit over here where we can have a skate park and a tennis court and a pool. <gasps> a swimming pool, you say? This is exciting. Oh, look, there's fires and stuff. Do we need to work? Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> What are our firefighting team doing? Because there appear to be the buildings burning down. Hang on, hang on. What? Hang on. What? Put these back in. What were they? Were they houses? Why does it unzone it? That's a bit weird. Okay, right. There you go. Rezone that, please. We might need to build some more housing as well. Um, yeah, let's get in. Let's get in. We could put some apartments in. That might be quite fun. Let's put some apartments over there somewhere. That could be a different thing. We've not got those yet. Um, I think, yes, over here... Right, pause time, pause time. Let's get a skate park, and we'll pop that in over there. And does that need power? I don't imagine that would need power, unless it's got lights, so you can go and, you know, do skating at midnight. Um, right, so bring that like that, and then, if we go to there, the tennis court. Yeah, let's put a tennis court in as well, and then we will run a regular road down like that. So if they do need power, it's all fine. And then we'll have a bit or something like that. Um, what are those dots? What are those little dots? Does that just mean there's trees? I don't know what those little dots are. There's little dot, grey dots on the trees. Okay, don't know what that's about. I'm just going to pretend that it's all fine. Right, so hang on. No, not there. Um, no, road. Sorry, road. So if we bring a road like that, connect that up like that and then we can build some stuff around here so we can build some shops or whatever to make it a fun day out yeah i like that um have we got anything else could we put the pool in could we drop the pool in are we are we hitting ourselves in the pocket by putting in lots of lovely expensive services and not putting in places for people to live maybe maybe hang on a second regular street go across like that one two three so four so come down across like that over here, let's build ourselves a nice new apartment area. So like... Oh, no, we can't afford to do that. Eight grand. Okay, apartments are really expensive. They're very, very costly. How are we doing for power? Everything's looking good for power. Okay, right. What we need to do is we need to let time run on quite a bit. Um, and let's see if we can get some money in. And also, let's see if people do start moving into our sort of apartments over here then, um, yeah, that might bump the citizen... Sorry, citizen numbers up very quickly. It says citizens just there. That might creep up if people move in. But right now, they're looking very unpopular. Hugely unpopular, in fact. Okay, never mind. Oh, I've just noticed something glaringly obvious. Okay, so I was looking at this thing here, thinking, why are we not getting any more citizens? Why have we capped out 
at 790 people. Because of course, we've got the new apartments down here, which okay, admittedly, haven't been overly successful, but you know, there's a few little apartment blocks popped up. And then, because I thought it might help, I zoned out this big area here of just regular housing. So normal housing, not fancy apartments. And yeah, people have moved in, but that number wasn't going up. And I was thinking, well, what's happening? I don't get that. Why is that not increasing? But of course, that must be the maximum that we got to. That's the actual number of people living in the city right now. It's 690. So we must have got up to 790 at some point, but now it's fallen. And I think I know why. At one point, we had lots of sort of power issues. There were lots of power lights flashing on and off all over the city, which generally means that, uh, that yeah, they can't put the lights on or switch the kettle on or whatever. I think we might need some more power. So let's go over here. Now we can build, if we want to, a coal power plant. That would probably not go down very well. So let's stick with wind turbines for now. Let's stick with the turbines. And what we will do is, we've kind of encroached a bit on their space over here. Um, how about we put that one there. That's all good. And is that connected? I don't know if it is. But what we could do is, hang on a second. Hang on. What we could do is um, go to roads, get a street, and just run the street along like that. In fact, yes, if we do it like that, that means we can fit another two, sort of, what's that? So one, two, three, four turbines, five, six turbines in that block over there. Okay, there we go. So hopefully, hopefully this might help people move back in. Right, so move time on uh, nice and quick again. Let's get things moving. And I do like that. I like the fact that the super quick time thing is actually quite quick. Well, the game did just have a little bit of a, it's getting a little bit wibbly, isn't it? The game, the game is not overly happy. Down here has no power. Is it because all the power is concentrated over there? Do we need to put a wind turbine down here just to stop it all going from over there? Because we're delivering a lot of power, it seems. It seems we should be doing okay. Um, okay, no, that should be fine. I don't know why they're running out of power down here. Maybe because it's traveling too far from there. Okay, do you know what? We can try and sort that out when we get paid. When we get our money next month, we'll put in another wind turbine down here somewhere. We'll have a little bit over here for wind turbines. In fact, you know what? Let's get the roads ready right now. We'll put them over here so they can just sort of go along here. That'll be fine. Uh, yeah, but right now we can't afford to do that. Although, do we get paid at midnight? I'm not entirely sure. Look at the time. The time is absolutely tonking on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Right, so we do get paid at midnight. So, um, yeah, wind turbine... Just pop one of those. Hang on. Is it that way? Yeah, pop that there. So that's four grand. So a big chunk of our money. But now that should generate power that hopefully can reach down here. Yeah, maybe it's just because it was a little bit too far away from the main source of power there. I'm not really sure. I'm not overly sure. Although I suppose it is dependent on the weather, isn't it? It's dependent on the weather. So maybe maybe when the power drops it's because you know it's it's a nice day and it's not it's not windy enough or something that would make sense although i don't know how you'd fact that into the game is there a no you're a, you're a person i want to click on the wind turbine is there a thing that's telling us how windy it is no it says productivity bad good excellent and there's no bar okay never mind never mind it's all fine right we're down to 500 and something people <laughs> Oh dear, people people are leaving our lovely island. We've got we've got a football stadium, we've got a skate park. Oh dear me. Although there's lots more houses, but people just must be living on their own or whatever. Um yeah, fancy residents, look at that. Right, maybe it's to do with jobs. Maybe we need some more places for people to work. Okay, how about down here more shops? That could help quite a bit. So regular street, chop a bit right across there, and then Go into there, put in some shops and stores. Very nice. And then, maybe over here, we have some factories. Let's get some proper lovely factories going on. Everyone loves a factory. So yeah, hang on. How much money have we got? Let's spend 1,800 money on lovely industry. Proper factories. Hooray. And then, do you know what? Get some roads going around the side. Just for the sake of it. There we go. Bring that over and drag that up like that. Excellent stuff. Right. Hopefully that can start getting people back in. 560, 561. Can we bring this back? Can we get people back here on the lovely Isle of T? Oh my goodness me. We've completed one of the goals. We've completed the Celebrate St. Patrick's Day goal. Okay. What do we get for that? 30, no, 20 followers, sorry. 
and an Irish pub. Okay, what an epic success. Marching bands and people dressed up as leprechauns. Oh, and something just flew past there. Um, okay, people dressed up as leprechauns paraded in town all day. Okay, sounds a bit noisy. The night ended and your Irish pubs are closed pretty late. Okay, this is good. 10 points of popularity and a very rare building. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. Right, we're struggling. We're really, really struggling to get any kind of people in at all. Okay, so we've got the Irish pub. How about we put the Irish pub next to our house? That's convenient. We just drop it in right there. Yay, there we go. So, yeah, we can have a little drink in the Irish pub and then sort of stagger home to our grandiose house over there. That sounds about right. Okay, that's interesting. So our factory area over there is pretty empty, but this newly zoned out kind of food area here is absolutely rammed. There's, what, three spots left. So I think maybe, maybe we need more of these bits. Maybe we need some more catering. So, okay, do you know what? Absolutely. Let's go for it. Let's put in a great big block of catering just there to see if that helps. Already, already people are moving in. We've got another 24-7 and another little restaurant. Okay, right. That seems to have helped a little bit. Maybe the numbers can creep up ever so slightly. Yeah, I don't think maybe, maybe we've not got the balance quite right with things. Maybe we've not got the balance right. And at night time, it seems the, um, yeah, look, there are some power issues. I think perhaps, do we need to save all our money and invest in a slightly unpleasant sounding coal power plant? I don't really want to because, you know, coal is horrid and smelly, but we might need to. We might need to get a coal power plant and put it over in that corner, surround it by trees or whatever so nobody can see it. Nobody will see the massive big kind of stacks and you know steam coming out of them and such. Nobody will see that because of the lovely trees that we put around it. Maybe, possibly. I don't know, but that might be that might be our best bet. Get that in, secure the power, and then I think that might be the problem. So, you know, people's power goes off and they leave because that's not acceptable. So maybe that's what we need to do. But of course, we can't afford that right now. We can't do that right now because we haven't got the money. And I think that might be a plane going by. Um, yeah, okay, right. Let's just wait. Let's wait a little while longer. We'll get 20 grand. Then we'll invest in a power plant of the coal variety and see if that makes any difference at all. I mean, I don't imagine it will, but we'll give it a go. Okay, here we go. So it speeds through the night very quickly. Okay, we've only just got over 20,000 money, so this could go horribly wrong. However, let's put this in. Um, okay, hang on, hang on. How much is road? Road is 40 per, per whatever it is, thing. Um, hang on a minute. We can't build 10 of those because we'll have no money left. So if we just go like that, that's 320 money. Yeah, we're going to have hardly any money left at all. We're going to be horribly, horribly broke. But this might help a bit. Um, there we go. It's a, it's a beautiful coal power plant, everybody. Nobody works there. I mean, if that's the problem, if employment is the problem, I would have thought that that would be very popular. There you go. There is some productivity in there after all. A couple of people. Two people are running the entire coal power plant. <laughs> one's putting the coal in. One's pressing, you know, the button to turn the heaters on. Or whatever. I don't know. Turn the furnaces on. Um, okay. Right. We'll have to see if that makes any difference at all overnight. I mean, it should. It should make a difference. There should be plenty of energy across the entire of the grid. Like, I don't know why they've run out of power. Why are they running out of power? You've got, there's a gajillion power going around the place. Why have they not got power? Like, the, I'm very confused why these haven't got power. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm not a power expert. That doesn't make any sense. We've, we've put loads of power things in. Why is that being a bit awkward? Um, okay, right. Hang on a second. Can we do something here? Can we bring in, can we bring in power lines? Beautiful power lines. We can just about afford some of these. So if we bring that down like that, bring them like that down here, is that going to help? Does, does that help at all with your power issues? Yes, because I think they're getting power from the power lines rather than it having to run through everybody else's house first. Although they still run out of power. Okay, right. Don't fully understand how the power works then. It seems to be a bit weird. And our population is 
struggling again. Okay, right, fine game, fine. We might have made some early game mistakes in setting up our island. Okay, I think it might be time to admit that things have not gone entirely according to plan here on the Isle of T, have they? I mean, things started great, things went very, very well, and we peaked at 790 citizens, which is pretty good. That is not bad, and it was looking wonderful. The growth was going nicely. We were unlocking lots of exciting things, and then it just kind of all went wrong, and it's come down to about this number here, about 500-ish. It goes up a bit, it comes down a bit. So this is kind of where we're at now. So I think what's going to happen is, as the mayor of the Isle of T, I'm going to stand down. I'm going to stand down. I'm going to let somebody else have a go. Somebody who's far better at running a little city like this than I am. Because, you know, I think we've done an okay job, but I don't know how to solve these problems. I'm not entirely sure. So we're going to get somebody else in, somebody who's maybe better at numbers. Maybe they could look at the budget sheet, possibly, and try and understand this, because I haven't really done anything with that. So, you know, maybe they can look at all of these sort of exciting graphs and things here and maybe try and do things a bit better. I mean, look at that. It's plummeted down to 490 now. It's all going a little bit wrong. However, what I would like to do is I would like to have the lasting legacy of building a library because libraries are wonderful, good, splendid places. So I think what we should do is let's get a library just there. It fits very nicely just there. Splendid. We've got a library and there we go. There we go, people of the Isle of T. My legacy to you is that I leave you books and knowledge and all that kind of clever stuff. So everyone go in there, have a good read and just, you know, enrich yourselves with knowledge and such like. And maybe one of you could go in there, read about how to run a town and then maybe give it a go. That would be quite good because, yeah, we've had an all right attempt, I think. We've had a good look at the game and I think you get an idea of how it all works and what it's all about. It's a shame that we couldn't get to that next goal. I did want to get to uh, to rank four. But you know what? Never mind. We gave it a good shot. And it's not a bad place. I think this is a pretty good place. There's a lot of good things. It's just the power. I think the power problems are, are possibly what's causing people to leave. That might be the issue. Because, yeah, just pop up all over the place. Look, all over the entire city, there are little kind of power outages. And I'm not quite sure why. I don't really know why that keeps happening. Because we have lots and lots of power. As you can see, uh, we generate 500 and 92 megawatts and we need 89 so we're generating way more than we need so i don't quite know why we're um why we're struggling to deliver power to places don't quite know but you know what never mind that can be for the next person to sort out because uh yes we shall finish up now with silicon city hopefully you have enjoyed this because i've had a lot of fun playing this it's been really nice to play it's just been nice to sort of play something a little bit like city builders of old it's been a nice sort of a nice trip down memory lane you know sort of harking back to the days of sim city and all this kind of you know more classic city builders so it's been an awful lot of fun but yes hopefully you have enjoyed it if you have please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. This sports car is indeed illegal. You clearly couldn't see the sign saying no cars. I have found the place where I'm going to live forever. The Tea and Biscuits Cafe. I want to rename the dog. Uh, let's call it uh, Wuffles. Wuffles McBark. Behold the power of the blimp.